ever just sit at your desk and wish that there was a way that you could just escape to the islands? And I'm not talking about using banana boat sunscreen. If you're old enough to remember those commercials, there used to be a dude that came out and he sang a song that went with the banana boat sunscreen and, you know, it made you think that you're on the island when you're not. You're actually just like in the pool at your apartment complex. Well, I have a pen. I have two pens, as a matter of fact, right here. Two pens by Narwhal. And they evoke that island lifestyle that some of us just can't get to right now. But I'm hoping that if I use this pen and I close my eyes, I can become highly imaginative and just hope that maybe I'll dream about it. But it, okay, that's an it's enough of that. Let's let's get let's get serious here and let's talk about the Narwhal Key West fountain pens, which is inside of these boxes. So I'm going to show you two colors. We've got one that is called Key Largo with a fine nib, and that is the blue pen. And then we have the Isla Morada with a medium nib. So let's start with the Isla Morada. That's kind of fun to say, Isla Morada. The pen comes in this nice black box. It has the swordfish there on the front and narwhal on the sides. And on the back, it indicates which pen you have. So it comes out just like a little drawer. And the inside, you have this kind of leatherette envelope, kind of similar to what Pelican puts their pens in. And this one's cool because it has a snap. It doesn't have that little ribbon thing that wraps around it. And so you ready for some fascinating, glittery, sunshiny, Key West fountain pens. It's in a plastic sleeve, so let me take that off. Oh, the there it is. Yes, this is the Isla Morada Key West fountain pen by Narwhal. And it has a beautiful, unfortunately the light in here is not the right light to really see that sparkle. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to take it out in the sunlight to do that. But man, it is like nothing but glitter and a little bit of resin holding all that glitter together. I mean, it's really cool looking. I did have some nail polish on the other week that matches almost perfectly, but I've since changed my nail color, so that doesn't really apply in this case. But um, let's go ahead and look closer at this. So look at that. It's a you know pretty typical shaped fountain pen, cigar shape. And it's got a nice springy clip. Uh, I like the band. At the bottom of the cap, it has this really cool meandering pattern on it. Kind of has, you know, just kind of a, I don't know, just a nice kind of sophisticated feel to it. So we take off this cap and let's look at that nib. So it has gold trim and a matching gold nib. By the way, the Narwhal nibs are made in house. They are still nibs. And I have to say every narwhal nib that I've ever tried has actually been very nice, smooth, wet riders. So I'm really hoping that this is the case for this nib. It is a cartridge converter. So let's go ahead and take off that barrel and see what we got going on in here. All right, so it does come with a converter. No surprise cartridge. And it does have like a little steel spring agitator in there so your ink you know i guess if you want to use like a shimmering ink kind of helps keep that ink all mixed up with the shimmer and the ink and all that stuff so it doesn't get all like i don't know clumped to a side or something like that so anyway let's put that back on oh but before i do that i really like that the barrel and the section so the section has you know of course it's metal and then the barrel has you know it's not plastic there's a nice metal uh, part that will screw back on to the pen. So I think that is nice and classy and I appreciate that. And I also appreciate that the section matches the rest of the pen because that is really cool. So does the pen post? Yes, it does. Doesn't post very deeply, but it's also not like super uncomfortable. 
The material does make the pen nice and light, so it's not a super heavy pen that you're writing with, but this actually, it feels very nice in the hand. In fact, I really like the way this material feels, and the reason for that is that I can kind of feel the bits of glitter in it, but it's not like a bad thing. It's actually kind of nice, and I kind of like it. Now, let's take a look at the blue version of this pen, which is called the Key Largo. Montego, baby, why don't we go? Okay, no Beach Boys right now. No Beach Boys. Okay, this is the Key Largo. It has a fine steel nib. And this one is a little bit different. It has, take this off. It also comes in a black leatherette envelope. It also comes in a nice plastic sleeve. It's, you know, it's fancy plastic. And here you go, here is the Key Largo. That's pretty. I like that blue too. And it also has a bunch of glitter embedded into the resin and the same springy clip, same meander patterning along the bottom of the cap. And the section also matches the rest of the pen, which is a bonus. And you also have a converter system with this, so. That is really nice. I think these are actually really nice pens. So next to each other, this is how they look. I ended up getting these from Pen Chalet. It's one of my favorite stores to order from. And from what I saw, the blue one is sold out. The, the Key Largo is, it's sold out, but they still had some of the Isla Moradas left. So if you're interested in these, act now. But the true, the true test is gonna be when we ink this pen up and write with those nibs, because the nibs is what's gonna make this glitter sparkle even brighter. Stay tuned.
Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Narwhal Key West Sparkly Fountain Pens. <clears throat> I can't wait to get these out in the sun. I'm going to let them sunbathe a little bit and get all sparkly and glittery. You know what? Nice writers. They did really, really nice. So, and I haven't been, I haven't really been completely disappointed by uh, the Narwhal pens yet. I've got the original demonstrator and I've got the school kill, school kill, whatever. I know I'm probably saying that wrong and y'all are gonna write in the comments how I'm supposed to be saying it. It's all good, it's all good. The one thing I do wish is, I wish these were also piston filling pens. I don't quite know why they went the, um, direction of the cartridge converter unless it was the material that wouldn't allow them to do it or or whatever. But for the price, and that's what I like about Narwhal is the price. Manufacturers suggested retail price for these pens is $55 each. So, I mean, it's nicely built. It's really attractive. It writes really well. So to me, $55 for a pen like this I think that's pretty damn good. And on top of that, um, Pen Chalet also offers coupon codes. So if you want, I've got a coupon code you can use if you're interested, it's 10% off. And it is good words. So go type in good words to the coupon code section, get 10% off of your purchase. Um, highly suggest that. And Pen Chalet is really great. They ship super fast which I always appreciate. And they always include like a cute little sticker in there. So I like that too, I guess. Well, that's all I really have to say about these pens. And I hope that you've enjoyed this review and perhaps learned something about the new Narwhal Key West Sparkling Fountain Pens. That's all I've got. And that's how the ink flows. Mm -hmm.